Today we're going to talk about tips for beginners. Uh, had somebody send me a message uh, said they wanted tips. What kind of tips I would give to you know beginners starting out trading? Before we get into those tips, I'm going to start off with gambling. But before we get into those tips, I want you guys to follow my Instagram uh, so you can see all the latest updates on all my trades. G Hill underscore investments. You can see every single trade that I make every single day as far as penny stocks. But um, my first tip for for a beginner would be to don't gamble. Don't gamble your money. And what I, I'm gonna tell you a story about that. And the story goes. So a year and a half ago, I was a loser in the market. You know, I was a loser. And the reason I was a loser was because I was gambling. And I had beginner's luck in the beginning. After I, that beginner's luck ran out, I started losing and lost a lot of money. Story is, I hopped into the market and I bought a stock by the name of Acre. And um, the first trade I made, I made money. I said to myself, I don't know why everybody's saying this is so hard, this is easy. I didn't do no research. I didn't do anything, put in any effort, and I just won some money, some free money. Who doesn't like free money? So for the rest of that week, I kept trading that same stock, and I kept making money. And I'm like, if it's this easy, anybody can do it. This is easy. So a month goes by. I start getting to other stocks. No research at all. I was winning, winning money. And after that, things just went downhill from there. So after that month of winning, I went into the next week thinking I'm just going to you know, throw my money in there and it's going to go up. When it go up, I'm going to sell. No, the opposite happened. Didn't do any research. Uh, it went down. I lost money that whole week. Traded some other stocks. The next week, it went down. I lost money again. I think the week after that, if I could remember right, the week after that, that next month, after, the week after that, I made a profit, but that doesn't matter because the week after that, I ended up losing. So it's like, you can, you can, you can win in the market by gambling, but you're going to lose that money. And most of the time you're going to lose more than you're going to win. So yeah, I made a profit a few times, but my losses were more than my wins. So my overall... I took a loss and not just a loss I'm talking you know thousands of dollars by gambling so the first thing I would say is first tip I would give is don't gamble your money do your research um, make sure you you know know the stock inside and out make sure you know go and download stock twits if you haven't uh, got it already it's a you know platform where you got other people that are trading you know penny stocks ETC and they're on there Discussing discussing these thoughts and uh, you can get more than one one opinion off of that platform. Uh, second tip would be don't chase a stock. You know, don't chase a trade. If you think the the stock is going to go up, don't don't just throw your money in there because you think it's going to go up. For example, if you think if you got a stock at eighteen dollars and you think it's going to go to twenty, just because your friends are telling you it's going to go to twenty or you see it's going up. For just that day and you think it's going to go to 20 you say hey i'm going to throw my money in here it's going to go to 20 i'm going to make a thousand dollars don't do that because as soon as you do that just like i used to do in the past as soon as you do that and then you're going to start thinking the market is uh is rigged as soon as you do that it's going to drop down to 16 and you being a beginner you're going to sell as soon as it hits 16 instead of waiting a week or two weeks for it to get back to 18, for it to get back to 20, because you're a beginner, you don't understand the market. So once it go down two dollars, you're gonna panic, sell, and you're gonna take that loss. And what you're gonna continuously do is keep continuously take losses because you're chasing a trade. Yeah, sometimes you might get lucky, but most of the time you're you're gonna lose. You can't chase a trade. You just can't do it. Um. <clears throat> Another tip I would give give to beginners is uh don't 
just throw your money, you know, into the market. Um, you can paper trade. You can you can do that to get better, to better yourself, to practice instead of just throwing your money into the market and saying, I know everything I need to know in your head. I know everything I need to know. I'm going to play with real money. Practice. Paper trade. See, see, see if you're getting better. After you've been paper trading for a month or so, go back and look at your results. Have I made progress throughout the months, throughout the weeks? You don't want to trade real money and lose real money. You should rather want to paper trade than lose real money because, you, you know, you're just practicing. And then once you get better, at, you know, I would say it's, it's you can predict the stock. Once you get better at predicting the stock, then then you can, you know, put real money in there. But don't. Come on. Let's not lose money. It's a it's a it's a competition. And that's how I look at it. I always looked at it like that. When I lose money, somebody else is winning money. You know what I mean? When I lose money, somebody else is winning money. So another tip I would say to start off with, if you're a beginner, is Robinhood. So Robinhood is a platform where you can trade three times a week if you have under twenty five thousand dollars and it's it's there's no fees um there's no fee there's not a seven dollar fee to to buy or sell or anything everything is every trade is free but you can only day trade three times you can hold a trade overnight and sell it the next day but you cannot exceed three day trades a day trade is buying and selling a stock in the same day you don't want to do that three times or three days uh throughout a through out of five days you want to do that three days out of five days because then you'll become a pattern day trader and they might suspend it and you don't want to be suspended from robin hood with your money in there because it's just annoying and it's a long progress and you want to get into trading as much as you can so robin hood for beginners will be Excellent. I started off on Robin Hood. I'm sure a lot of you guys that are watching started out on Robin Hood. Um, it's a great platform and I think it teaches you how to not be so greedy as far as, you know, trading because it only allows three day trades a week and I, I think that helps a lot. And I think that it's a great platform as far as like I said, beginners, because you can go in, it, it has everything right there for you. It has buy, sell right there for you. It has a limit and market sale right there for you. And we're going to get into market and limit sales right after the, this tip because that's very important. But it has everything there for you laid out. Um, you might want to read you know read the directions and stuff before you you know get into it go over the uh, how many how much money you can deposit a week usually it's just like a thousand dollars but make sure you go through all that read all of the, read all of that and make sure you're fine but Robinhood is a good platform so